So you might be trying to figure out how you can transfer your voice memos from your specific Apple Watch to your iPhone. Now doing this is fairly basic for the most part, but we do have to start off with our iPhone to actually basically transfer them in a way. So there's not really a way to like send them to our iPhone in particular, but we can sync them between both phones or both devices. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you want to make your way over to your settings application on your iPhone. So then what you want to do there is you want to go and click on your little settings icon or your name up there. You then want to scroll down until you see iCloud. So click on iCloud and what you're going to want to do here under show all, you just want to make sure that voice memos or anything related to that is basically on. So you can see right here, voice memos is enabled. As long as voice memos is toggled on, you're pretty much good to go. So make sure that is toggled on. And once you do that, you may not have to restart your phone or anything, but if you go ahead and go into the Apple Watch application, if you turn on your Apple Watch, go ahead and close out of voice memos and turn it back on. And when you're ready, open up that voice memos app by going through, clicking on your settings icon here, finding that voice memos application, which should be somewhere, I don't really remember where it was, maybe right here. Click on voice memos right there. And you'll see this little icon at the bottom that now says recordings will also be available or shown on your iPhone as well and on your Macs and on your iPads. So now whatever you record here is going to be showcased on there as well. So if you start recording, if you record a new you know, voice memo or whatever, it's going to start recording. It'll go and, you know, you can end it whenever. And whenever you're done ending it, you can stop it. And you should be able to see that these recordings will also be available and showing on your iPhone. So now if I go and make my way over to my iPhone, if everything hopefully worked, hopefully everything did work, you can see that the recording I made earlier is available and that other recording I just made is now downloading and it's going to be available shortly soon. So in terms of that, that's pretty much how you do it. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.